Emery Hunt in studio. Joe Musa, your host here to explore the great beyond. I think we're going to take a look right now at that AFC playoff picture. The numbers next to the names, well, they've changed. The Dolphins sitting at 9-3 and three in the one seed, followed by the Ravens and Jags who have yet to play. They will be in action on Monday night, but as it currently stands, the Kansas City Chiefs, the fourth and final divisional leader, Sitting at 8-4 and four following this loss. Other changes, the Texans, despite their heart-pounding victory on Sunday, do slide out of that picture. Steelers, Colts, Browns occupying the wild-card seats. Emery, as you assess where we currently stand, it is not where we will be when Week 18 is all said and done. But momentum working in favor of some, and in favor of some, excuse me, and against others. Who in that picture right now did themselves the greatest favor, and who in that picture hurt themselves the most here in Week 13? I look at the Indianapolis Colts by getting a win. If you stay in that boat long enough, you'll hit land eventually. And they <laughs> stayed in that boat and won a lot of games without Anthony Richardson, their superstar rookie quarterback. But Gardner Minshew has done a fantastic job helping steady the ship and keep it on track. And now because of their winning and where they are now from a health perspective, they'll get Jonathan Taylor back at some point during the stretch run of the season. But you look at the teams that are in front of them, the Pittsburgh Steelers and Cleveland Browns dealing with some injuries and they face a difficult stretch the rest of the way. So now you look at maybe a team like the Houston Texans. You look at the Buffalo Bills find themselves back in the mix now and even the Denver Broncos with their win over the Cleveland Browns. So now if you're Pittsburgh, if you're Cleveland, you should be a little bit shaky. But if you're Indianapolis, I thought you made the best move today by winning that ball game against Tennessee. I mean, you take on the spirit of your starting quarterback, Garner Minshew, playing with his hair on fire here on Sunday, as he always does. Kansas City is a different conversation right now. I mean, you're sitting in the four seed, questioning a lot of the aspects of that offense specifically. How should they be feeling heading into this final quarter of the season? Well, they're in danger now because they're like, hey, man, we wanted everything to go through Arrowhead, mm -hmm. and we may have to go on the road, potentially to Miami, which sets up perfectly for the Dolphins if they're able to hold on to that number one seed. So for Kansas City, you're playing the five seed now at the four spot, and that can always get tricky because right now it's Pittsburgh, but who's to say it could be a red hot team like the uh, Houston Texas that that has no fear mm -hmm. that will be willing to go in and t go toe to toe with Patrick Mahomes. So. Being at the four spot in this AFC race puts you a little bit at risk, but there's still enough time for them to move back up. But man, you look at the top, those those top three teams, Jacksonville, Baltimore, Miami, and we talked about this before, Joe, no one is fearing Kansas City's offense right now. Mm -hmm. So this is not your uncle's Kansas City <laughs> Chiefs team that we're used to, right? That young, fun yeah, uncle. Young, yeah, fun. It's not the Chiefs of old, to your point, and there's plenty of work to be done. They will likely lean on that experience late in this season, and remember Miami, three big prove-it games to round out their schedule weeks 15, 16, 17, and 18. That would be 16 through 18. Let's take a look at the NFC playoff picture here as well. More change the 49ers inching ever closer to that top seed with their win over the Eagles. The Birds suffering their second loss in kind. The Lions 9-3 continue to lead the North and represent that three seed. Change happened at four with the Falcons and Saints again swapping spots. Cowboys sitting there in the five seed. I mean, it's all going to play itself out. That could be the one seed when it's all said and done. But most notably, the Packers at 6-6 six and six, now on the inside and hoping to stay there. Emery, so much can happen in a single snap or in the final moments of a game. I take back to an exchange against the Chargers, the Packers chasing a late touchdown by Dobbs that starts these three straight wins. We're having a completely different conversation about this team than we were a month ago. Where have you seen the biggest change in the Green Bay Packers, and do you expect them to be seven or better when it's all said and done? Absolutely. When you think about Jordan Love, he has been the biggest change because now they're trusting him with the offense. You're seeing him get out there and air it deep down the field and not try to just hit the check down, just as stay safe and keep the offense on pace. Now nah, he's going for the gusto. He is out there leading from the front, and I like that they're – allowing these young guys to grow with them. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of rookies get involved in the passing game. You see that offensive line looks like they're ready to go for the stretch run, which is important because in December, you're probably going to lean a little bit more on your run game. You're going to need that pass protection, and they did a great job against Kansas City. So Green Bay is a team that I expect to be in there. And when you look at the, the list, hey, how about the Los Angeles Rams? I know they're probably eyeing that spot that Minnesota is occupying right now. Mm -hmm. They may be on the slide, 
but the Rams are were in the playoff picture about three hours ago, but they are right there on the cusp with a chance to get there uh, moving forward. Multiple choice question here. Short answer, I don't need the how, I just need the who. You got to vote for a one seed in the NFC? Oh, man, that's a tough question. <laughs> I will say, because I'm big on beat me last, right? Uh -huh. But I will say Philadelphia. I okay. feel like Philadelphia will find a way to galvanize. They needed something to get them back on track and motivate them to go back to what happened last year. And when people doubted you and now you got to go on this run, you're the underdogs. I think they'll get back to that. They got humbled today by San Francisco. The biggest, the biggest question is who's going to get two and three? Mm. Is it going to be San Francisco or will Detroit go on a run and usurp San Francisco, but I feel like Philly will use this as motivation and get back on track and maintain that one game distance from San Francisco. They got to play the games. Dallas might have something to say as well. He's Emery Hunt and the playoffs are coming.